Today, we're going to be fighting a battle. It kind of needs to be weapony. Today, we're going to be fighting a battle. Today, we're going to be fighting a battle. Today, we're going to be fighting a battle. <laughs> Sod it, you get the idea. If you didn't know, one of Marvel's newest additions to the MCU is the Eternals. I actually really like the Eternals. I thought it was a lot of fun. But you see, a lot of nasty reviewers have been going, no, bad film. And I kind of wanted to fight them. What I thought we'd do is, in a very similar vein to our Hamilton video I did last year, what we're going to do is we're going to pop on Rotten Tomatoes, see some reviews, and tell them how wrong they are. Eternals Rotten Tomatoes. 48%. Genuinely, I think a score of 48% on Rotten Tomatoes is really unfair. I, I, I don't see why it deserves that, personally. Let's, let's have a look at some reviews then, shall we? Right, let's look at Wendy Ide's comment. For all the effort that has gone into ensuring representation in the casting, the storytelling, with its forced flashback and synthetic sentiment, lets the whole thing down. What a load of waffle. First of all, yes, it's good that there is a diverse cast and effort has been put onto the storytelling. Not, not, not sure what you mean by that. But in terms of the structure of the story, it's built as a reveals-based thing where you get reveals over time. You know, what's the point of just going, oh, the Eternals throughout history, and then you just have an hour set in modern day? I just thought that would just be the most boring story structure ever. And also, that's what helps to build up Icarus's reveal, which is a great reveal. So, Yasa Medina writes, In the two and a half rather long hours, the only thing I find is a boredom as infinite as the universe with the politically correct origin story of these Marvel's Power Rangers. I hate people so much. Yes, uh, diversity is really politically correct in terms of having a diverse set of characters that are representative of the world the, and the wider world that we live in. That seems so awful to me. That has to be deemed as politically correct and not just good storytelling. Also, the con about Power Rangers, um, I actually think that's rubbish because I think the powers that are used with the Eternals and the way these Eternals use their powers, you know, with Malakari's speed and Icarus's laser vision and the way Thena creates weapons, there are actually some really interesting power sets going on. And no, not all of them interest me as much as others, but there are some really interesting bits going on there. So just, you know, generalising them as Power Rangers is just bollocks. So Harris Dang here has written, Eternals is stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's too blatantly commercial to take advantage of the studio's new prestigious filmmaking talent and too outside the box to satisfy Marvel's audience. Now, this comment is clearly talking about the mix of Chloe Zhao and her oscar type filmmaking, but mix that with the Marvel style. And that's what I really, really like about the film. There's a lot of the complaints about the superhero genre. Oh, oh how generic is this? Oh, how bland is that? And this proves otherwise. It takes a deeper, more oscar if that's the word you want to use, style to the way it's made and the story is structured. And doesn't stick to the Marvel formula while still having the things that make Marvel Marvel. That sounds like a damn good mix to me, so I'm not sure how that's ended up being a negative for some. So Dan Buffer writes, it doesn't have one remarkable element, performance, scene or moment in its two and a half hour running time that made me think I was watching something marvellous. And I couldn't disagree more. In terms of scene and moment, I think the Icarus portrayal really, really gets me. You know, a lot of the stuff with Icarus, I think Richard Madden's performance is absolutely fantastic, as is Salma Hayek's. Also, if we're talking about performances, Kumail Nanjiani actually killed it. Like, in terms of Marvel and, you know, quippy characters, he managed to create one of my favourite of that style of characters. So, the performances don't need to be trashed. That's, that's needless. Okay, so Noah here has written, but at this point the MCU formula has been recycled so often that sitting through these movies starts to feel eternal. The reviewers disagree with each other about what's bad. It's almost kind of like critics were almost like waiting for that MCU film they could decide to hate on. But some critics are going, oh, you know, it's not marvel enough. Oh, and this critic's going, it's too marvel -y. Do you see why I'm a bit wee confused? 
So Travis has written, well, they can't all be winners. With the arrival of Chloe Zhao's Eternals, somewhere Alan Taylor, director of Thor The Dark World, is breathing a sigh of relief. He's no longer responsible for the worst Marvel film. Now at this point, if you disagree with me with Eternals, I'm surprised you're still watching. But if you disagree with me with Eternals, surely you can agree that Thor The Dark World, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 3, Captain Marvel... There are films, even if Eternals isn't one of the ones that you really enjoy, I, like, like, surely Eternals isn't the worst film. Because if it is, I'm baffled. I, I don't know, I do not, I do not understand what you didn't enjoy about it if you think it's the worst MCU film. The, the MCU's done a lot worse. Right, so this is one of the things that confuses me, because Mark has gone, Eternals is a slow-paced affair that runs too long, whereas Dennis has gone, it comes with an all-childish nonsense over superheroes you get from juvenile comic books. That's why I feel like Eternals has been unfairly hated, is that those criticisms go, oh, it's really childish and superhero, and the other one goes, oh, it's too slow-paced and dramatic. Can it? Can it be both? I just don't understand because b b the film's getting criticised for completely being the opposite. Like, 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 Chloe Zhao couldn't win as a filmmaker. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Right, let's talk about Matt. The one exception to the film's utterly bloodless chemistry is a cameo by a post credits pop star who, for all of 15 seconds, has completely charming interaction with the CG creature. Now, I'm not a big Harry Styles fan, and I, you know, I found the end credit scene a bit distracting. If you liked it, brilliant. But saying that interaction is better than, you know, all of the relationships and, like, you know, the key fundamental building block to this film and saying that 15 second bit is better. Like, I, th I feel like someone that, like, the, like, someone's been given a different copy of Eternals here because that doesn't make sense to me at all. You know what? Let's, let's turn off all the Rotten Smart stuff and just have a little bit of a chat. Is Eternals one of my favourite MCU films? I, I don't think it would probably make it into my top 10. Probably. But for me, personally, I genuinely don't understand the hate. Or do I? Maybe there's a lot of MCU fans that don't really like more Oscar-y type filmmaking and therefore can't cope with, you know, that sort of like slower paced bit. And then is there more, you know, like Oscar-y type, you know, like people that then go... Ugh, superheroes, the, the, the Power Rangers comment comes back in. I'm just frustrated because I feel like this film took risks and I feel like it tried to do something different for Marvel. If I'm completely honest, uh, I, while, you know, I'd like Marvel to, you know, keep doing some of the things it's doing, like the fan-pleasing things of No Way Home and, you know, a lot of the fan-pleasing elements of Avengers Endgame, I would also like Marvel to try and do some deeper storytelling. Like, I think WandaVision succeeded in very, very well. Falcon and Winter Soldier. And I think this, for me, succeeded quite well. That's another thing. I don't want it to just be, right, the TV shows are where we're allowed a little bit of depth. In the films, it's action and it's comedy. And, uh, no, that, that doesn't fly for me. That was kind of my thoughts. Um, I know this is old news, but I, I, I kind of wanted to do it. Um... If you have a problem, don't care. <laughs> if you like this video, click like. If you didn't, click dislike. Um, and apart from that, I'll see you later. Cheers.